So rolling without slipping, we have the wheel, which will give us a good demonstration of something rolling without slipping. Notice, watch, it rolls, but it doesn't slip. Okay, now when it rolls without slipping, there are two things that are happening. One is translational motion, the other is rotational motion. Both happening at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, that's it. So, this is my, today's desktop picture, this is me dancing. <laughs> it was, it was fun. Okay. So, this is, that, uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, so this is, if it ever comes up, you can do it. Oh, Oh, no, I know what happened, so I don't have to stress it out. We should get a little Oh, you can do it. Okay, you're right. So this is pure translational motion, right? <laughs> if you look, the center of mass is moving to the right at the velocity of the center of mass. So is the top and the bottom. Both of them are moving, or all three spots are moving at the velocity of the center of mass. If we attempt to move on to the next one, which is just talking about pure rotational motion, the center of mass of the object isn't moving. The bottom is moving to the left at the tangential velocity. The top is moving to the right at the tangential velocity. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to combine those. So if we combine the velocity to the right and to the left on the bottom, what do we get? Zero. If we combine them on the top, we get twice as much. If you look, we have this one plus this one is twice as much. And if we add the ones in the middle, we just end up with the velocity of the center of mass. So if you look, what you get is the velocity at the contact point is zero, the velocity at the center of mass is the velocity at the center of mass, and the velocity at the very top is two times the velocity of the center of mass. But it turns out that the velocity of the center of mass ends up being equal to r times omega of the object. So the velocity of the center of mass of the object ends up being equal to r times omega. And that, hopefully, will look familiar. The velocity of the center of mass is equal to r times omega. We can go through and you can actually figure out the acceleration of the center of mass is also equal to r times alpha. This means when an object is rolling without slipping, the total kinetic energy of the object is equal to 1 half mv squared plus one half i omega squared. Because the object is not just rotating, but it's also translating. So it's moving, it has both linear kinetic energy and rotational kinetic energy. An object that is rolling without slipping. 